What is up guys, it's your boy Chris Lee back again with another video. Um, welcome to my channel if you're new here, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button and comment below what you think about this video. Uh, in this video we're going to talk about the trucker who was rescued from a burning rig after taking out power lines and crashing into a motel. This is brought to us by Transportation Nation. I saw a tweet, um, I follow them on Twitter um, and I wanted to kind of check out the article. I read it and it's crazy and I'm going to read it to y'all. All right, Lone Pine, California. A trucker suffered serious injuries in early morning tractor trailer crash over the weekend that took out power lines and a fast food sign before crashing into a motel in Lone Pine. All right, so the trucker is, instead of suffering very serious injuries, um, power line and crashing into a fast food sign wow. and a motel. Incident occurred Saturday. Okay, according to the accident, it was a 73-year-old male trucker driving a Freightliner in the slow lane. Uh, let's see, he was hauling doubles that were loaded with hay bales. Okay, uh, for unknown reasons, it says the driver failed to maintain control of the semi truck and then traveled off-road. Onto the sidewalk, he then collided with several poles, including two power line poles and a Carl's Jr. fast food sign. Live power lines were pulled to the ground as a result, uh, and surrounding businesses and residences all lost power. That's crazy. Um, when the truck crossed the crossed, the truck then crossed the street and crashed into a motel. The hay spilled onto the road and surrounding area. This is not funny. Additionally, the crash ignited a fire engulfing the tractor, the hay, and the north end of the motel. Uh, two Samaritans were able to pull the trucker from the burning semi truck. He was sent to the nearby hospital with major injuries and the hotel room that he crashed into is vacant. Um, wow, now that all occupants of the motel evacuated while they battled the blaze and nobody in the building was injured. Identity, identity of the driver has been, not been released. Oh my God, that is crazy. Um, it, was, it said it was like 3.50 a.m. in the morning, so, um, Okay, it's like a couple of things that I think are like kind of like reaching out to me on this article. Like, I hope that driver's okay. I hope he recovers. Um, the truck set fire. Like, it was a fire. Like, it was that's like the bells of hay set fire. If you know anything about hay, like it's dried grass, so it's it's going up in flames. You know what I'm saying they really probably fought that fire for quite a while, um, and it was doubles. So that's two trailers full of hay that, you know what I'm saying, they, they said, there's so much stuff going on, like the power lines, power lines down, the neighborhood and the businesses are without electricity, okay? Um, the bells of hay are everywhere on the ground, right? Uh, he, he crossed the street, he knocked down several poles, and then the Carl's Jr. fast food sign. This sounds to me like this driver fell asleep. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's what it sounds like. Um, that's that's so much. That's like carnage. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's so much stuff going on um, for somebody who would be alert to have gotten themselves into. Um, it said he's 79, and you know what I'm saying? So he's up there in age, right? Um, one thing I like preach and I say this with like every breath is for drivers who get their CDL to have a plan so that we're not out here at 79 driving um, you know what I'm whether it's for fun or whether we have to do it because there's nowhere else that we can go to make the type of money that we need to make have a plan so that you don't have to be out here driving at 79 so you can be at home feet kicked up 
watching the grandkids grow up. Why why are we out here driving at 79? Um, I, again, I hope that this driver is okay. It's like no offense to this driver at all. He's doing what he has to do. Like he's out here trucking. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a feat in itself. But for, for people in the industry, I think we should have a plan to be out the truck by that age. You know what I'm saying? Or running the trucking company, you know what I'm saying? Inside, behind a desk, you know what I'm saying? Dispatching trucks, right? Like, we, we should have a plan. Wh whatever it is, whatever the plan is, you know what I'm saying? Stack your cash. Stack your money up so that, you know what I'm saying, we're not out here. And now, <clears throat> he's in a predicament where um, this is... Most likely, 100% uh, his fault, which is unfortunate. It's 100% his fault, most likely. And he's going to have to, you know what I'm saying? How's he going to, um, you know what I'm saying? How's he going to resolve this at his age? These injuries, he's probably not going to make it out of uh, the hospital without like any long-term uh, ailments due to his age. Um, which is very unfortunate um, with with all, all that stuff going on the, the the crashing and the poles like you're you're jerking and going across the street on, on the sidewalk and there's a fire and you're trapped in the truck and you hit a building and people have to rescue you from the truck I, I know he you know what I'm saying that there's got to be some significant injuries that he sustained where um, you know what I'm saying? At 79, his body's not going to recuperate like that. So, like, we have to think about stuff like this. Um, and it's unfortunate that this is an example for us to look and see um, so that we can't, we can put our, we can look into the, like, you know what I'm saying? We can put ourselves in a better situation as uh, younger drivers. Um, we don't need to be out here driving these trucks at 79 years old. Um, and that's just what it is, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is on that part. Um, he's not going to be able to, re like I said, recover. He's not going to be able to pay these people back. Whatever money he did have saved up, you know what I'm saying? He said, now that's in jeopardy because he wanted to be out here at, you know what I'm saying, at 3 o'clock in the morning and, and driving. And he's probably been driving for a long time, and he could have been driving and never had any type of uh, wreck or anything like that because you know what I'm saying that is possible in the, in the industry but for that one chance for that one fluke chance like you nod off or something happens to the truck and you know what I'm saying whatever you know what I'm saying um, it's just better to be prepared and have a plan coming into the industry uh, have a uh, exit exit a plan to exit right like, I'm going to come into the industry. I'm going to drive for five years. I'm going to look for this type of pay. I'm going to look for this type of job. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look and I'm going to follow these people online. And I'm going to get this type of knowledge so that I can transition and make that move and save this, you know what I'm saying, this much money. Um, so that, you know what I'm saying, when you're ready, you can get out of the industry and not be in positions like this. This is a real bad position to be in. And like I said, I hope he makes it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, not where he can't do anything because that's, that's so much going on. Like I could only imagine um, just being behind that wheel. Can you imagine being behind the wheel and something happens like that? Like he's, uh, so it sounds like he's in a town He's passing through like a town and then he like just whatever happens, like I said, to the truck, he nods off, whatever. But like that is a scene out of a movie. Like he, he gets on the sidewalk, poles are being knocked down, boom, boom, boom. And then he hits the Carl's Jr. sign. That I would think would have been like the last straw. Like I don't, I don't know if he's like, how do you not hit the brakes? You know what I'm saying? What, what are what are we 
it, that could have been something that was, you know what I'm saying, the issue with the truck. Like, the brakes might have went out. But it's that's just, you know what I'm saying, that's, what about jumping ship and stuff like that? Like, wow. That's a lot of stuff going on. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Uh, this article was on, uh, let me tell you what the article was on. Transportation Nation, I found it on Twitter. Uh, I do follow them, so shout out to them. Um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Deuces.